maybe watch it on your phone? My phone's dead. Your phone's dead? Yeah. Old? Old phone? No, it's it's dead because I have literally two devices in which to entertain myself all day. <laughs> and I have one outlet in this damn room. So it's either <laughs> my computer that's plugged in, or it's my phone. Oh my god. Can you get a uh, extension thing with Bob? I'm in quarantine! I know! Can you have Animal someone bring it to you? No, I'm not allowed to get any packages because That's of. So, I hate this for you. Yeah, you hate this. I'm the one living this. <laughs> Unless it's like emergency it. shit, like medication, I'm not allowed okay. to get mail. Okay, so who is even enforcing this? My school and the state health department. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Do they have someone posted outside your door? Because I'd just fucking leave. Come, sir, come. This is one of those situations where it's kind of like I could get suspended if I don't follow the guidelines for quarantine. I'll shut up now. Here we go. Authoritarian school. It's so evil. Oh, shit. No, it's just liberal. I live in New York. Oh, shit. What's this? What's happening on this? He's in a is hood! It it's a cat It's a It's Nassian! We're on the moon, bitches! We're going Not gonna lie, that's actually pretty impressive. Holy that shit. That is the moon, isn't it? That is the moon! Yeah. We're on the moon! Incredible. Oh! Oh! The final days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray. Its lands rent by tooth and claw. Oh shit, Alze! She's making Red Mage look like it doesn't suck. And New Alpha too! Oh no! Oh shit, Paladin! Paladin, the expansion. Hey, yo, Victor, it's your time to shine! Whoa, what the fuck?! Oh my god! I can look after myself, you know. What is Alphano doing? Yo, that's fucking dope! <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck me. Asa here, you bastard! What? But yo, fucking Gundam funnels. Seriously. Past the far edge of fate. It must be the towers, right? Yeah. Yo, but seriously, Paladin, like, what? Not gonna lie, Paladin uh, gear looks sick. I knew it had to be a melee class. He always has to play a melee class. Uh, I think it's just uh, easier to. Was Bart, wasn't it? No, uh, Arrow was no. Warrior. Yeah, Warrior. 
Warrior Dragoon Mon Samurai. Was that was Alpha a chemist or is that some new shit? Is that's that like, a that's some new shit. He, he's a healer. Well, the armor just on. Uh, uh, no. Fuck no no. They've done this before with like different kinds of media before where you, like like main character or some sort of character has like funnels type bullshit or like starts lasering shit. No, it reminds me. Was that not he... No, it reminds me of like a Gundam. Yeah. It's fucking Gundam funnels. Yeah, no, I I can't watch this. I I don't understand I... Japanese. No, they'll, they'll translate. Where? Do you... When? It usually introduces. Uh... Oh, I can't even hear it. If you keep talking. So. Oh, sorry. Oh, you understand Japanese? Oh, it's the caption issues. Niku, Mizu, Sushi. Hey, Koji, there we go. Speak English to me, you glorious translator. Hello, everyone. On behalf of our producer and director, Naoki Yoshida, I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, to the announcement showcase. Well, there, there it is. Here and he has an Estonian uh, polo. Is Koji Fox, oh. I will be Yoshi P's English voice. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good at English. I like how he has a no comment shirt on. Yeah. Yo, numbers of viewers are rising like ridiculous and crazy. Yes, thank you very much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is what is that 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 graphic on the shirt? Hold on. If that's the healer, I'm healing next year. Oh, I thought I was healing next <laughs> The fuck up, you can't handle the pressure of healing. <laughs> Uh, I love how someone in the comments no, said. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna play that class. You can play white mage. I'm playing that class. I love how someone in the comments like like said Alpha Dot RX uh, 93 based on like the fucking like new Gundam. Well, I mean, it's always been between like either Summoner or Scholar, so. Here in a theater in Japan to uh, do our part. No, they're not adding another cast. I don't know, maybe. But seriously, what is the graphic design on the shirt which says no comment? I swear, he fucking got that shirt, like, custom made just for today. But yeah, uh, hey, uh, Koji, when we can get that, uh, shirt? Frickin' echo res. 
ファイナルファンタジー、そして6点ゼロエンドウォーカー、同月のフィガーレと呼びます。えー、今年2021年秋を目指して開発を進めております。So, are we also going to see like what the collector's edition is going to be like? Because I would like to know what we're getting. I know. One point oh call out. <laughs> Yo, put your love in the chat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are we going to play through the 1.0 story? That would be too With insane. Yo, if we do New Game travel. Plus? Yo, it would be crazy if they implement like the, the New Game Plus with like 1.0 content. That would be hilarious. Not likely, but still. But as you saw in the trailer, there is something that uh, was very important, and we want to touch upon that. New job. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. All right, bet. <laughs> Who's going to win? So, healer and DPS? Stick in the chat right now.
as you saw in the trailer, trailer it is, it is Alfino, Alfino that has changed, changed into, into that new job, job specific again. Today, today uh, as, as announced in the case, we're feeling, feeling one, one of the two new jobs, and that will be the healer job. Oh, so I'm going to heal it today. Oh, they're not revealing the melee today? Nope. So, rather than lady, it looks like like to show you a video, you a video of that new job, job in action. Aw, shit. Gee, I wish I could watch that. Yo, you seriously get fucking Gundam funnels. Fucking sweet. Way to make a healer fun, seriously. What the fuck? Is it like a Charlayan? Sage! Oh shit! I wonder if we'll get like a magic based melee DPS. We have some CG and some art that we'd like to show you. Ooh. So, um, as you can see, the weapon uh, that the main arm that the Sage will be using is a Final Fantasy XIV original. So why did Alfino happen to take up this new profession? You'll have to play through the main story of the 6.0 to find out. So now we'd like to give you a simple rundown of how the job actually works. I just saw something now that they said that. So Sage will be our fourth healer behind White Mage, Scholar, and Astrologian. Where's my ARR box? <laughs> As you mentioned before, uh, the main arm for the Sage is going to be a Final Fantasy XIV called the New List. I'm just going to call him Funnels, fuck that. <laughs> And as uh, has been the case recently, um, there is no required class and you'll start directly from the same shop. And the starting level is planned to be 70. Alright, alright. That makes sense. And so there are two conditions uh, for playing uh, the Sage. One is that you have at least one job, uh, one other job that is level 70 or above, as well as you have purchased the Endwalker expansion. So let's take a look at, a little bit uh, take a look at the battle style of the sage. It's a scholar replacement. 
So we look at the stage as a barrier type. If it has a one button DPS rotation, we riot. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't think so. Least, we taught at least the AoE, so there's gotta be at least two. God, I hope they rework healer DPS. <laughs> I saw a lot in the chest saying Lenny needs to be nerfed. Which is can be considered a pure healer. And then we have our scholar, on which is more of a barrier healer. And so if this time the sage is also going to be a barrier healer, then what's going to happen with Astrologian? So, starting in 6.0, we are planning to make a clear dis uh, distinction between pure healers and barrier healers. We want to have two pure healers and two barrier healers. And so, with 6.0, we plan on uh, performing some. Uh, Oh god, they're taking away nocturnal stance, aren't they? <laughs> oh, we're making it really weak, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I almost never use knock, but I know some people who probably will be salty about it. I just realized what the... the... Like, what happens if you have two barrier healers? He's talked about it. He said that the, they want to put the raid so that you get one of each. I, I realize what so you can never be a white mage with an astro. Yeah, you'd be white mage, scholar, white mage, sage, or astro. I don't know if they're going to enforce it. He just says that that's what they're looking to do. It's going to make hugging really weird. And as we mentioned before, yeah. uh, the sage will use ether to manipulate their weapon, the newlets, in combat. Whether that be for healing, whether that be for attacking, whether that be for putting up barriers. それからですね、まあこれ、ファイナルファンタジー 14は各 we try to make um, our jobs unique from the other jobs to give a different kind of experience for each job. Um, we're trying something here with the Sage where they're able to temporarily augment their own magic abilities to make them more powerful. Hmm. And we believe the experience that we will be providing with the Sage will be completely unique and a lot of fun. Please look forward. So obviously temporary buffs to offensive spells and all that stuff. Yeah, the, the ID being Scholar Buffs party, Sage buffs helps. So, so this job quest uh, for the Sage will be offered in Limsa Lamenta. So uh, if you want to play the new 6.0 main... In Limsa, really? There's already so much stuff in Limsa. Like, where is this going to be located? Up in, like, the fucking aft castle someplace or something? I guess. <laughs> so, we're looking at the comments, you see lots of things that are mentioning kind of Gundam. Yes, yes. That's why he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> 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 Son of a bitch! <laughs> Great! Thank you, Alright, so with all of this in mind, let's have one more look um, at what the Sage of Sage can do in that showcase video again. In the video. Play the video. But anyway, uh, oh, okay. 
All right, so just replaying it. So anywho, uh, what I was gonna say before is that uh, what was it? So I have a small theory about uh, who's gonna actually change into the melee class. Uh, not, nobody really needs to. Well, no, nobody I'm saying because the thing is, though, if you recall, remember at the end of of uh, well, I, I can't go into too much spoiler because uh. Carilla hasn't gotten there yet, but um, a certain person said in the cutscene that they lacked a certain growth this time. It was Dolphino, and he's the new healer. Correct. So, I'm thinking Alze may be going the melee DPS. No, uh, she's, she's the red, red mage. But we see in the cutscene, though, that she, you know, she drops her sword. We see in the cutscene that she's wearing a red outfit now. But I'm saying, she, though, I'm she saying... She pulled out her sword in the thing. Michael, she's a red mage. Okay, the thing is, so I'm... God damn it. Wait, he changed his he shirt changed already? Shirt. What is this? That's... I'll be here if you need me. Is that what it says? Yeah, I'll hear you. analyze their clothing. It's very important, clearly. So who knows? So who knows that language? What does that say? It's terrorist, Michael. The filth and the fury. <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> Red. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, probably Arabic. <laughs> what's a necro? Did he really just say what's a necromancer? Really? Oh wait, what's the pendant on the necklace? That's a shield, but... Well, unless it's something like wholly original again. Uh, if it's one of the old jobs... Okay, let's talk a bit about I, would, I would actually be... Uh, it would be Rune Fencer, right? Huh? Yeah, Rune Fencer. Like something that has like a lot of the Samurai's open eye mechanic where they just get hit to empower themselves. Or something like that. That makes sense. Translate this, this is the Dawn Moon finale. Final end finale. Final end finale. I said the pattern. This is never war no kata. This is gonna get an end. So stop saying the game. Oh god, I feel so bad. End of story content. The final end and finale, these are all keywords that allude to, to the ending of this 10 year saga of Hydlin and Zodiac. Wait. Of the story arc. Not not the not the whole story. So then we move on to our first large expansion, Heavensward, which represented that clear blue sky that you have in midday. And then in our second expansion, uh, the word of light headed east. The twilight at the end of the day, Shadowbringers is the, the night at the end of the day. Oh, no. <laughs> 
finally our most recent expansion, expansion uh, uh, that was praised, praised around the world by fans. Uh, we have Shadowbringers and the Black ま、so similarly with our expansions, as you know, um, we don't end the story at that first expansion. Um, while in 5.0, for example, we did get that end credits at the end of 5.0, the story wasn't actually finished until 5.3. However, with Endwalker and 6.0, we plan on having the story complete itself by the end of the actual expansion 6.0. But of course, this does not mean that we are shutting down Final Fantasy XIV and ending the game at this point. Yeah, he said it. I knew it! I knew it! え、私はやめません。え、このままこうなんか、ここライブワークなので、え、お前もういいよと。社長からですね。え、言われます。ライブワークのようにファイナルファンタジー本当に受けていきますので、ぜひですね、まあ、もちろん6.0 yeah, I'm kind of happy that they're saying that, like, we're going to be the end of the Zodiac Hydaelyn arc. Yeah, we knew that. Like, we got a glimpse of that, like... That they have the confidence to end the story, though. Like, because most MMOs kind of just drag the story until it becomes irrelevant and terrible. Well, the thing is, though, they're saying that just the Highland Zodiac arc itself, that's, that's what I'm... But they said there's a... There's a there's pos yeah, yeah, I'm just new... glad that they end an arc. Like, well, yeah. Hunter x Hunter's still going, but it ended... The anime ended on an arc, and it felt complete. And, like, <laughs> yeah. That's what, like, you know, it's good that they're ending the arc. Yeah, no, I'm happy about that. Keep dragging it forever. It's, 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 yeah, no, it's like, it's like, how long are we going to, like, learn about the Ashians? How long are we going to learn about, like, the whole entire Zodiac followers and everything? Right, like, it's like, do you end your story well, or do you let your story go long enough to see it become retarded? <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> I mean, it's true, it's true, it, that's very true. It's true, you can't... No, that's very true, no. <laughs> they, you know, they did joke about that. What was it? Uh, last uh, during Shadowbringers launch, actually, funny enough, during the whole entire fan, uh, event for launch. Okay, nothing. No. 
<clears throat> but no, they did funny enough, like, they joked about going to the moon, um, last, like, when shopping is first was announced and everything. So it's funny that we're actually going to the moon now. <laughs> so what is going on with Zodiac? What is going on with Heidel? How does their story end? Uh, we'll learn all about that as well as depart from Heidel and move to the moon. People across Heidelin are putting uh, all of their hopes and dreams into the world right to save yeah, the planet. Yeah. And so this will be a journey that will take the Warrior of Light there to find out what's going on and save the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's commenting that for uh, the low, low price of 999 gil, you can teleport to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> of course they would. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I liked in the map artwork, you saw like in Garlemald's section, it's like all red and calamity like. Ooh, hello. Yes, I do want to know these answers. <laughs> would you like to know more? Yes, I would like to know more. Wait, nobody's asking what Xenos aim is. We know what he's asking. <laughs> No, Fan Daniels though is still questionable. Clear. Fandaniel's still questionable though. Xenos is not a very mysterious character. <laughs> no, no, but Fandaniel though is still up in the air. No, but seriously, what the fuck's on the moon? Why are we going, why are we going to the moon? <laughs> a hidden third god? Well, what, what was Elidibus doing hanging out on the moon? That's very true. Like, what was he doing there like, for the longest time? It, it doesn't make... Well, like, when it happened. Back in like Heavensward, I was like, what the fuck? Why, why is he on the moon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate we know you. I can't even know. How are we going to get there? Is there any air on the moon to breathe? What is on the moon? Title Monster. It's where Zodiac's body is, is hiddenly encased. Calling it Zodiac's body is hidden in the moon. So all of these questions will be answered, uh, not just the fate of the Warriors of Light, uh, the Warrior of Light, but also the fate of the Scions, uh, and we'll find what is the dying wish of the ancients. All this and more we'll find out. Yes! Fucking end of Evangelion. <laughs> oh my god. First up, we have Alfino, uh, our new resident sage. Um, the gear that he's wearing in the trailer uh, is the sage AF gear, but it's been designed especially for him. And then next up, we have his twin sister, Alize. And as you can see, uh, she is still fighting as a red mage. No job change for her. He just straight right. up denied you, Mike. Alright, fine. God damn it. Uh, but uh, she will be getting a costume change. She didn't get one before. She's finally getting it. And you may be surprised to see who she gets it from and how. Hmm. Yep, do those, Fan Daniel. Next up, we have the Ashen Fan Daniel.
、まあ、天聖組のアシェン・ファ・ダニエルですがグレー編に登場したアサヒというキャラクターの体をバンバックフェイスする彼の目的がね果たすバンバックフェイス、right. And so the sundered アシェン・ファ・ダニエル<笑> Uh, as you know,、uh, he currently inhabits the corpse of Asahi, who appear- first appeared in Stormblood,、um, but we still don't know too much about him.、ねね、yeah,、uh, a lot of people love to hate this guy. That's a good thing, love to hate. Do not worry, he is not the last boss. <laughs> he's the second to last boss! Oh no, he's farther from that. <laughs> No, he's, the, he's like the third to last. He's, <laughs> he's gonna be the first boss in the he's first, be the first dungeon. dungeon boss. He's just gonna fall over and die. Alright, <laughs> 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 and last but not least, we have Fan Jobber, more like Xenos. Yay, Galdus. That ass with long hair. Maybe Fan Daniel's the first trial. <laughs> That would be funny. And he's ready to take the stage once again.、Uh, and he has a singular purpose. His one purpose in life. Well, look, we gotta fight Xenos. Then we gotta fight, like, God. No, 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 no.、Uh, well, yeah, he'll fight Xenos as a. Xenos will be the second to last boss. Like, his human form. And then, and then there's God Xenos. Embodying Zodiac. You know, and then there's another. Final, final, you know, final, 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 right? He's just gonna be like Sephiroth. I was gonna say, he's gonna be the fucking Sephiroth of this game. God damn it! This is not even his final form. Safer Xenos? He's gonna be shirtless with wings. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Safer Xenos. <laughs> safer Xenos. <laughs> oh my god. The Warrior of Light could save so much time if they would just fuck Xenos and let it get him out of his system. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion the about it. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Bold predictions, r e d Bold predictions. And we hope to bring back a lot of those characters for this story in 6.0. He hopes to bring back、uh, a bunch of characters for the,、uh, for the end. So there are a lot more mysteries regarding the game's story, but it's so hard to talk about it further without have,、uh, revealing any spoilers.、So. Yeah, Yoshi Pete, don't spoil anything. <laughs> but you know, you can give us a little hint, right? Oh, damn! What? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, thought, I completely <laughs> forgot what something else in my mind. I'm just like fucking out of it. I don't know why. <laughs> This is the least surprising thing all live letter. Look at that samurai gear and that healer gear. Ooh, ooh, Dark Light. Hello. Nice.、Uh, that's very emo. Well, the white mage one is a little. And the black、exactly、mage the has a cat. A I'm black mage again if there's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> A cat has these eyes, like it's fucking nuts. No, there's gotta be like a small caption next to it. It's like cat not included in outfit. <laughs> it's a cat from Alexander. Okay, so we're getting. Ooh, there he is. Here we go. Ooh, hold on. Wait, isn't that like Ralgar's Reach down there? No. But similar, like. Oh. 
Raza Han? Yo, we know that place! We get yeah. like, we'll materials from there. Let's uh, take a closer look. Ooh. This is a screenshot of maybe the entrance. It's like it's Hotel it's in India, isn't it? It's like a mix. I want to say more Vietnam, Thailand? Pretty cool. So, so uh, with each expansion, uh, we usually release a uh, maybe sort of outline, India. It's very colorful, it's very in India like. Uh, yeah, but I want to say like the the way that it's structured looks more Thai Thai than anything else. To me, it looks more Indian. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all in the same neighborhood. It's, it's South Asia-ish. Yeah. Oh. So let's go uh, inside the town. Like, Makes sense if uh, Alamigo is like Persia ish, Raza Khan and Bafna are India ish. You know, Persia doesn't exist anymore, it's Iran. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which are all Gulf versions. But you can't find Persia on a map anymore. Yeah, yeah. Persia is a state of mind, okay? <laughs> you know, I like goat cheese and mint with flatbread as much as the next person. But <laughs> we have a lot of Persian restaurants in Houston. If you remember the dancer, it's really good, uh, right? Of the, uh, we don't have a lot here, so I don't know much about it. I assume from, it's similar uh, to like Turkish. Oh, that's right. In the same ballpark. Lots of kebab. And so, uh, one of our new areas is going to be that complete island of Thavnir, along with the town of Razadhan inside it. Interesting. Is Razadhan going to be the whole area has a very subtropical yeah. feature that is a It's the small town for the expansion. Nice. An outdoor area where we can show off mounts. Nice. <laughs> well, they said that also. Like, they also said that that obviously from the story that you've really like, paid attention to uh, dancer that. Whoa. Oh my god! We are actually going to it. The capital of the Garlean Empire, Garlemald. Although it looks a little like it's broken yeah. down a bit. Mm, I wonder why. <laughs> Let's take a look at a screenshot. Estinian wrecked it. <laughs> <laughs> Go Insidian. <laughs> so we always thought of the Garlean Empire as a majestic place, but if you look at it here, it's pretty run down. I wonder what happened to it. Mm, I wonder. <laughs> Restoration Gollum all. <laughs> This area turned this way. No, no, not oh for God, yeah, they, they can do that. Uh, they could do it a restoration like problem. Go there. What would he or she find there? You could do a sequel to the Ishka uh, restoration. <laughs> <laughs> In the same format? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Uh, There's a yeah. very deep and intricate story that is related to this area. Your housing could be like the Imperial Palace. Would that be cool? Yeah, get ready for your... Not gonna lie, that actually sounds enticing. Like a very heavy metal like housing zone. Of course, uh, like a very futuristic heavy metal um, Final Fantasy 7 ish housing zone, like industrial. Yo, it'd be interesting. I'd be down. Yeah, I'd be down. New tribes. More beast tribes. Of course, new beast tribes. Is there anything new in the picture? No. What are we gonna get? <laughs> so this artwork, yeah, you can see right in the middle is the, the Namazu kind of right there, like, like he's the best, the leader. The leader. Goddamn Namazu. He's, he's the hero. 
今回、まあ、ちょっと一部になりますが、新たな獣人、えー、名前はマタンガ。マタンガアルカストロダラゾさんという、えー、種族が登場してきました。Hey, when did we friend the,、uh, the dogs? The dogs? What dogs? The bottom left, the old granny dog. Oh, I mean, we didn't need to do any quests for them because they were already our friends when we met them. Ah, I said it was awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, the name's obvious, but still, it's like interesting. You'll be meeting in the Savnir, are a little bit more friendly, at least those. Oh, the Arca Soda tribe were the friendly ones. Oh. Some of the、uh, hunts that they've gone on in the past, we're finally going to that area、um, and seeing、uh, the inspiration for that type of statue. まあ、獣人は他にもいるんですけど、もうちょっと、えー、今回お待ちいただきたいと思ってます。ただ、まあね、好きですね。We have many more、uh, tribes to introduce,、uh, but we can't introduce them today. Those will be saved for a later day. But thinking about it, we will be going to the moon, so. You son of a bitch! He was teasing a Final Fantasy title too, like saying,、mm, which title was it? God, son. Oh! <gasps> Yo, Anima! I'm down! Yes! Oh my god! Fucking a n i m a Oh my god, I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get wrecked by his bomb half. I hope he has some bomb ass animation. And so,、uh, the original designer of Anima,、uh, the art designer of Anima in Final Fantasy X, is actually a member of the art team on Final Fantasy XIV and recreated、uh, the design for Anima to fit the Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, shit. Very cool. Dude, I hope he casts death on everyone. <laughs> All I remember about Anima is he casts a lot of Ultima and, like, no, 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 that was Bob. It was death. Okay, the one on the left obviously is from、um, the new place, but why am I getting, a, like, a x a n a k i n feel from it? End of the world. California! I feel like that's going to be in g a r l a m a l d Those are trains. And a hangar. Wait, so Necromancer confirmed, right? Wait, why? Did you see his, fuck, you see his fucking t shirt? 
Did you see his t-shirt? <laughs> over <laughs> over analyzing his t-shirt. Dude, he always puts so, teasers uh, in his t-shirts. He has a history of doing this shit. A melee necromancer? Maybe side is like the main weapon. Yo, I'd be dope. Oh, I'd be down for that. Some that are very high. Oh, dude, it's my turn to DPS. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, dude, I'll join you with that. I don't care. Yo, you can, t yo, Jin, you can take tank. You can take tank. Go ahead. No, I'm taking the new hero. I'm taking tank. I love future of the next day. Yeah, Jin takes the new healer. Jin and I will heal. We got this. Wait, what's that? What are you going to play? We don't know yet. Don't get your hopes up. But look at this fucking t shirt. That screams like, yo, Necromancer. Okay, now we're going to talk about another, uh, one of our battle contacts that we have planned. Uh oh. All right. Where are we going to, where are we going? On the moon! The moon! The moon. I know we're going to the moon, okay? Okay? Goddamn diamond hands took a Diamond hand. The moon! DM me. And so, we're going to Eden, finally, give us the moon. And we've been hard at work preparing a new, uh, eight-person raid. Raid on the moon. Eat um, it's too early to give details, but we have some art to show. They're gonna add platforming in the game because there's half gravity on the moon. Oh, it's an in. All right, all right. Uh, screenshot that. Take a look at the uh, the mask. Seen him somewhere before. It's La Habrea. Is it La Habrea? Oh, Wait, I thought we killed La Habrea. Did we not? No, he did. No, he, well, he did. He did die from Thornton. Oh yeah, oh that's Mahabrea. Pandemonium. Oh, we're gonna write the Pandemonium. Warden. Jesus Christ. The Pandemonium. We're fucked. So we cannot talk about where this raid will take place. It's going to be very. The fucking moon. It's on the moon. It's on the moon. Goddamn pandemonium! Fuck. It makes too much sense. <laughs> pandemonium warrior is like one of the final bosses in eleven, and the first group that beat it took them eighteen hours to beat it. Story that we're completing of the Highland and Zodiac saga. We plan to tell. Yeah, that is La Habrea's mark. Completely original. I called it. La Habrea. La Habrea. I knew it! Son of a bitch returning! Wait, how do we defeat him? Why is he alive? So, he wasn't actually, uh, defeated by us. Yeah, he was trapped inside one of the, the, uh, crystals. Oh yeah, it was Thornton! Thornton! Thornton was the one who, uh, fucking banished him. So we're currently approaching uh, the end of the Orha Dark Apocalypse. So we didn't like kill him. Kill him. Alliance raid, which will no, they didn't kill him. Kill him per se. Alright, they'll, they'll give us some working on a new alliance raid. Well, we'll begin. I'm like AFK grinding alliance raids. Oh my god, I need so many of them. Fuck.えっと、サーガ完結1個目のサーガね完結に向けてかなり濃い話になっていくので、これもぜひ楽しみにしてください。uh, so we plan to release more info on this new alliance raid at our digital fan fest. Ah. I'd like to tell you that it is a completely original Final Fantasy XIV original alliance raid, not a crossover. Um, and it will be uh, centering on uh, a piece of Eorzean lore that has remained steeped in mystery for a long time. Oh. Yeah, there's still a lot of questions uh, that haven't been answered for a long time, so... <laughs> oh, shit. The Hildebrand? <laughs> <laughs> Nail bomb, darn it. Right, let's continue on. I want, I want the Hildebrand Alliance raid. Small scale PvP mode? They already have the piece, though. So we're also working on a new PvP content uh, that is more small scale than what we currently have. まあ、フィーストをね、この先どうしていくの今ある少人数 PVP のフィーストをどうしていくのって今お声もそう大してるんですけど、僕らが今えっと計画しているのは、そう、デブンフォーのフィースト。
配信してフリーロールでもっとカジュアルに、えー、楽しんでいける熱くなれる PVP という新しいコンテンツを制作してます。So currently,、um, our plan here is to create new PvP content、uh, that feels、uh, more casual and more immersive、uh, by removing role restrictions. Interesting. レーティングにチャレンジしていけ行く人はいけるみたいなところで、えー、開発を進めています。And our goal is to make something that makes matching、uh, easier than before、uh, and casual yet immersive. Uh, in its game plan. What the fuck is immersive PvP? I'm so confused. <laughs> まあ、ギアとかももちろんありますけど、それ以外に全く新しい報酬カテゴリーというのを用意して、いろんな人に楽しんでもらえるように、えーえー、鋭意ね、企画の方を進めてます、まあ、進めているので、こちらも続報にぜひご注目いただければと思います。And、uh, we're also working on、uh, a new type of reward system、uh, for this new PVP as well、um, that doesn't focus solely on gear. Of course, there'll be gear, but we want to have a new category of reward as well.、Uh, to again, Incoming fucking ranks. <laughs> Dude, he's like, it's so vague. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Someone in the chat said before how、uh, Yoshi P has all, has all those rings. They can only surprise me. I can't be disappointed about the PvP. Because I have no expectations. Yay, new quests. Yeah, yeah, and this is typical stuff. Yep. So, I was talking before about how Yoshi P has like, all those rings on his fingers right now, that、like, he's the Thanos of、uh, Final Fantasy right now. And with 5.0 and Shadowbringers, we introduced a new system,、uh, a new type of quest called Roll Quest. We plan on continuing those in 6.0. We're going to be making one、uh, slight change to that system. これまではタンク、ヒーラー、近接 DPS、遠隔 DPS という4つのロールに分けてロールクエストを展開してました。Uh, melee physical DPS, ranged physical DPS, and magic DPS. Yeah, I ordered a margarita with my dinner, and it didn't fucking show up. Dude, I hate it when that happens. You sound like you could use a margarita. It sounds like my door dasher stole my margarita. Ah,、uh, shit. Yeah, I try not to order drinks when I order delivery. And then、uh, there's the also、train. plenty of role quests that are planned for crafters and gatherers as well, such as those offered in 5.0's The Crystalline Meat. I want to tell more, you more about it, but because we haven't talked about the large town yet, I can't say it. はい、もちろん多数のね、新装備、えー、それから新しいクラフトギア、ニューギア、あ、えー、あ、おお、ハロー。でも、ウォーリアー、ロックマンク、レッドマイジ、アルカミミス。はい、これらのシステムにも、yeah, this is all stuff that should be standard. I also got the concept art for the, for the new outfits. I mean, Paladin outfit looks standard Paladin. All, all Paladin outfits kind of look like that. Well, a lot of you have been waiting for this guy. Oh, shit! Rostinian. And this is who it is. Are you happy, Rez? Yeah! You get to go on、uh, adventures with Estinian. Yes! <laughs> I'm never gonna party with anyone else ever again. And then, being a melee DPS character, this will hopefully help alleviate that glaring lack of. Uh, melee DPS characters in society. 
、まあ、彼がね、どういった経緯で、アカツキ、まあ、彼ね、結構一人で動く。Wait, is that new to Goon Armor? No, no, that's old. Ah,、uh, okay. That's a、uh, storm blood armor. So, the other thing is, the main story of the story is, the main 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 story is, Uh, if you play, five, Incoming team it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's joining because we asked to be trained. He won't be trained. He won't be trained. He's still under the control of the Nidhogg Act. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine? And of course,、um, we have further plans for the trust system, not only just adding new characters, but also、uh, making adjustments and to that system as well. But we cannot talk about them yet today. So, as soon as the first trust they're adding, there's going to be more trust added in the future. Okay. Again, not just adding new characters, but also adding. Uh, new types of activities, new types of duties for、um, your companions to take part in. Again,、uh, we won't talk any more today about it, but we have exciting information coming up in future、uh, producer letters. Yes, this is what we really needed. <laughs> <laughs> マスキマージャンというものに、まあ、並ぶぐらいちょっと大きなものを今計画しております。The current plan is to add something almost as big as the recent edition of Maja. みんなどういうものを、oh. What does everybody want? やっぱりこう、What does everyone want? ブリッツボール。Oh! Blitzball! <laughs> <Blitzball. laughs> I feel like I was just saying Blitzball. Blitzball! Blitzball! Blitzball. <laughs> Fall guys, <laughs> Jesus so Christ. Fall guys, oh fuck off. That'd be so good. Oh my god. Can you imagine like a sports game in Final Fantasy? Snowboarding, fall guys. Snowboarding, oh god, no! Among Us Final Fantasy. Oh god. We plan on it being, again, like I said, plan on it being very big, something for all players, multiplay.、Uh, but again, we can't talk too much about it now. We haven't、uh, enough to tell you, but we do have details coming in the future, so please look forward to it. Let's ball. マージャンをね、丸ごと入れてしまうようなクレイジーな、ポーティンカーチームですから。まあ、何が来るのか、いろいろ予想をしていただければと思います。I mean, the, the team is crazy enough to put the full game of Mahjong into 14, so we know that something big is coming. えー、続いては、新コンテンツになります。Alright,、uh, the next we're going to introduce a new piece of content. Oh, we're farming, bitches. さて、何を。This is co content for me. <laughs> Oh, fuck, we're getting farming. <laughs> farm we're getting fucking farming. I love how you have like the freaking, like, like, that was you over there trying to feed a carrot. Otter, otter, the little penguin, the commander,、uh, General Shark. Final Fantasy XIV players and adventurers can enjoy a bit of slow living. Oh my god, it, it is really just farming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you, this is content for me! Content for me! Time to milk the cows. Oh,、uh, Masani, I'm gonna need some more、uh, Savonarian onions.、Uh, if, you like, if you don't mind growing those for me, thank you very much. I'm about to learn to guard. <laughs> It better not be tied to housing. For example, that would kind of suck. Yeah, that would most suck. People most people wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. 
and uh, maybe um, cultivating the land of this uninhabited, deserted island, uh, and then taking the fruits of your labor and selling. Slow life. It's going to be real slow, guys. It's going to be a huge grind. Water your fucking plant for 30 days straight and get one item. Oh, God. Ah, so the dev team has been calling this island the Dash Island from a Japanese TV show. Dash Islands. Kind of like that, where you take a deserted island and you, you know, make it into something that's your own. So I'm not getting, I'm not getting the Mishkaran house. I'm getting a fucking island. Hey, I'm rich enough. I can buy one. You could. Oh yeah, me too. I could probably buy two islands. So players will be able. We need, we need to get the big island. Oh god. Billion Gill, come on guys, start saving. Oh god. Oh my god. Well, no more, no more handing out Gill with people. Nah, it's not gonna be that much. I would laugh my ass off. I'm gonna guess that the island's gonna be a hundred. Next up is something that I believe you guys are all currently. The large is fifty, right? Currently. Oh, oh, oh. This is, a, this is Ishgard, though. I mean, we already, yeah, we've already. All over the world have poured their heart into the rebuilding of the firmament and Ishgard restoration. So, okay, you see the yellow houses? Or the, the houses with the, uh... The gold tips? Yeah, those are the large ones. Figure out which one you want. Rip. You're not getting until the next expansion. Inspired by that work, there is... Uh, the city is wants to present a new housing area to those that have worked hard to rebuild the firmament. Hold on. Rogue Zero is uh, 6.0. At the release of 6.0, we will be uh, opening the area Oh. To look at. What? <laughs> okay, so at 6.0, they're releasing the place to look at. Well, yeah, they're not going to release it on release day at 6.0. That'd be terrible. That would be chaos on all servers. That'd be fucking garbage. Idea. So at the launch of 6.0, players people will be busy playing the, the game, not waiting for a housing flag. See like. what uh, you know might be a good place to get a plot of land, but the actual purchase of that won't be available until 6.1 because again, there's a lot of stuff to do in 6.0 before. <laughs> no, it's because the fucking <laughs> server <laughs> couldn't handle it. 6.1 confirmed. garbage. <laughs> Currently, the plan is to have the exact same number of wards as all of the other we have a lot of okay. uh, residential the districts in Eorzea, as well as having... Okay, so it's going to be 24 wards with subdivision, so that's 48 times 3. We could add even more wards uh, between now and then. I don't think so. No? I would doubt it. There'd have to be a real bump for them to do that. It's just expensive. But Anyways, it's gonna be a bump for six point oh. Well, it's okay. okay. So that's still that's 150 or 144 uh, plots. So, like with the reputation of Shadowbringers, like a lot of people are gonna jump in. At whether or not I think. Um, it will be exactly like uh, the firmament that you are currently rebuilding now, um, that's up to be said. But it will give you a very good idea <clears> of what that residential area uh, will look like. Hi. Those rings are all fucking skulls, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. People were like were eyeing about this. In fact, they have so many rings oh on, his, on his hands. Oh my god, so many skulls. It's a necro fucking mancer. It's necromancer. I got it. Who, pay me in game. I said necromancer as well, so we'll take we're sharing the bet.
メレイネクロ、ハウヤー、ゼロからバトルシステムのメンテナンスをちょっとリフォームがあるのでお伝えしていきたいと思います。Uh, now we want to talk a little bit about two important、oh, updates and adjustments that will be made. Dragoons are all powerful, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, today we're doing 12,000 DPS. Flying text becoming lengthy, yes. 
Right, so, well, one and a half to two times. So let's say we're doing 25,000 DPS. 30,000 DPS. No, 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 it's going to be way more. Like, I remember at the end of large it was like 8k DPS was the norm, about, for a DPS job. And now it's like 8... It's like 18 to 20k, right? Yeah, it's like three times. Okay. So if you're doing, let's say we're doing 35,000 DPS. Let's make math easy. 50,000 DPS. Yeah. You know, so uh, every 20 seconds we do a million damage. This is causing problems as well. Oh, oh, here we go. Wait, what is this? So, uh, to prove our point, I'm going to show you uh, the amount of HP that a certain boss uh, uh, four point, has. Yeah. 440 million. 440 million HP. Boom. I don't want to see fucking ARR numbers that I'm doing. Well, I'm sure that uh, oh, you're, the you're mentally like, adjusted. we'll be yeah, able to get this, get this much HP down. So, let's talk a little bit about then we know the problems now. What are we actually going to do to alleviate them? So the first thing we're planning on doing is uh, truncating uh, the character growth from level 50 to 80. けど、ま、それをレベル50 for example, again, the numbers that I'm going to be giving here are not the exact numbers, but this is just for an example. For example, uh, you have the amount of progress that you make, uh, the amount of uh, that your attributes will go up after gaining one level. Let's say that it will be plus 5%. Uh, for levels 50 to 80, taking that from 5% up after each level to, say, 1% up after each level. And so this um, will again uh, look like it's affecting uh, player HP as well as the amount of damage that the player deals. And so what this will appear to look like is that when you deal damage, it will look like your damage has gone down. レベル80から90まで that said, again, if we don't preserve um, the sense of growth that one might expect uh, from a new expansion, from that raising of the level cap, that could also be problematic. And uh, so what we want to do is we want to keep maintain um, that sense of progression uh, between the levels 81 to 90. So while we would be truncating that progress from levels 50 to 80 uh, and compressing that down from level 81 to 90, um, we will leave it in a position where it will feel the same as it does for every expansion for those final 10 levels, those new 10 levels. So your experience gain, your last level experience gain, you couldn't, they couldn't make it any larger. Also becoming too large, 
And so we'll be looking so at that as well. Um, and at the same time, we'll be reducing the amount of. <laughs> well, okay. So the interesting uh, part there is that they're not they're not just like doing a straight across the board chop. They're doing a squeeze on 51 to 80. So you're going to look at like here between 51 and 80, and it's going to be look like there's not as big of a differentiation between them. So that's going to actually make things like uh, like that 510 max materia gear that we can get out of this new raid. That actually will be better. Sure. Because you'll have this, the stats equivalents will scale rather than your main stats. So, also, so also, so give an example. Like, you know how, like in this expansion, how experience points uh, cap would be like for each level, would be like oh, like X amount of like X million uh, XP needed. Yeah. Especially the they're the so last since, one was four million. They couldn't go any bigger. Yeah. So essentially, they're gonna scale that down now. Like, so essentially, like they say, okay, so like for say from going from eighty to eighty one will be X amount of million. It's gonna be let's say X amount of either hundred thousand or so. Yeah. That, so the idea is that it'll they'll probably scale it down pretty massively. Relatively, everything is the same. They'll probably be like half a million numbers, eighty one to. And they also address there at the last I mean, yes, it is, but all at the same time, it makes sense as to why they're doing it as well. Yeah, and, well, and Fluke should understand this, right? This may become more difficult. It's one of the basic things they teach you. Put that extra zero and one in there, the things go kaput. Fluke, just put a calculation engine in there. <laughs> the problem is not that they can't run the numbers that big. The problem is that it takes more resources. And so their servers are getting upgraded. They can't calculate, you know, the millions as fast as they can calculate the thousands. Get better servers. <laughs> There's only so much you can do there, and they're awfully expensive. Listen, if you want to be like a high, a pretty game at the same time as running certain numbers, you have to like give give and take certain things. Yeah, there's only so much compute, so much GPU. And in, in all seriousness, um, a, a good server blade, depending on like a standard server blade, probably cost them $40,000. You know, like, they're not cheap. No, I used to work for the company that had one of the top 10 servers in the U.S. Processing power-wise. Yeah, that sounds like they had a really bad design. Uh, they processed seismic data. So oh, they had a example, special use case. Um, currently, uh, my own player, I'm a black mage at level 80, uh, with item level 530. If I use fire four with no crit and no direct hit, I deal about 50,000 points of damage. We expect this to go down to about 10,000. Okay, they're not cutting it in half, they're cutting it to a fifth. Oh my god, can they stop talking about math? I get it already. Uh, but think of it as about, uh, this segment is so long. It's reduced about 80%, down to about a fifth of what it normally was. で、これはあの、ちょうど今日はやっていく上では、どうしても避けられないポイントなので、今日冒頭ね、お話したように、これからもっともっとファイナルファンタジー14に向けていきます。だから、今回やったとしてもまた10年ぐらい経つと、もう
possibly another 10 years down the road, we might have to do this again. But again, um, this is basically, we want, we're doing this to show you that we're committed to uh, having a lifespan of Final Fantasy XIV uh, keep going for uh, many, many, many years. Oh shit, we're moving belts? I mean, that's true, but still, like, it's like the fact that they're actually able to do this entirely now. They don't even have a cosmetic value anymore. No, they don't. They don't even see them. Yeah, I don't fucking. If it so one less item belts, to worry about. The, the belt era is over. Hooray! We're moving belts? Yeah, why do we need belts? They don't even have a graphic. All it is is a piece of stats. Pointless. You can't even glamour on the belt. It it's just like a 1.0 like uh, relic. Again, as you know, sure. uh, belts have no bearing on players' outward appearances. Uh, their stat values as accessories is is pretty negligible, um, and they're not. And because of that, they're not a very popular piece of equipment. Um, yet they take up the same amount of space in our armory chest as other equipment. Um, we've even had a lots of fans ask us to just stop dropping them in the lion's race because we don't need them. And then a lot of people also complaining, uh, talking about the rings, but Nah, keep the ring. <laughs> and regarding rings, um, while we did uh, consider uh, this, um, we also understand that a lot of players, because can uh, put them on both hands and you can actually graphically see them on your players on both hands. We decided that we're going to uh, not do that this time. So we need to explain what's going to happen um, with this removal of belts. Oh. I'm going to keep at least one belt forever. So at the beginning at the launch of 6.0 what uh, belts will no I'll longer be like be remember the day just like I have my inferno tapers from 1.0 it's like remember when you had to gather inferno tapers to fight Ifrit for like a 10% chance at a weapon drop a random weapon drop over to 6.0 these will automatically be unequipped and moved to a calamity salvager this includes retainers as well, so um, there is no need to rush and uh, unequip any belts. Oh, those fucking speed belts. Everything will be moved to the clan. Because people spent millions on them. <laughs> Rip. However, materia, if you want to remove materia from it, you should do that uh, before 6.0. So belts will no longer drop from any duties, and they'll be removed from elegant tone stone itch exchanges. Alright. Okay, so now that we know reallocated. That the uh, belts are being eliminated. Are they going to be reallocated to, to more glamour? Rings and weapons, please. The primary Sugi. weapons. Oh, thank God, we need more friendly rings. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I'm happy about that. I like this. Yeah, this is all good news. The plan is currently to take 15 of those 35 empty slots and allocate them to main arms, main weapons. Good news, everybody. Well, where's the remaining five going, though? Yeah, it's just quality of life. Oh, held in reserve. Okay. Maybe add them to the armory chest? No, not the armory chest, no. And so there's a lot of people saying, oh, wait a minute, 15 plus 15, that's 30. What about the other five slots? What's going to happen to those? We're going to take those and we're going to save them for a rainy day. In case something happens, so we're gonna <laughs> take those on Body slot. Come on, give us body <laughs> slots. <laughs> what do you mean body <laughs> slots? So for like for the, the chest case and all that stuff, for like glamour and all that stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, 
ぜひチェックしておくようにしてください。えー、ではですね、そろそろ、えー、今日お伝えできる情報というのも、えー、少なくなってきたんですが、えー、ここで、まあ、長期的に作ってきた新しいシステムを最後に、えー、お伝えして終わっていこうかなと思ってます。はい、そう、we're ending、uh,、we're nearing the end、uh, of our announcement showcase, but we have one more system related thing we'd like to talk about that we've been working on for a long time。えー、こちら。データセンタートラベルという仕組みを、えー、現在開発中でございます。So currently we're in the development of a new system called the data center travel. Oh shit! So not only besides world trans、uh, travel, data centers as well? Hmm. So all of you know about the current system that we have that allows players to move around between worlds. Interesting. えー、それをですね、まあ、ちょっと全くそれと同じ機能というのはちょっとサーバーの作りにくいかもしれないですけど、キャラクター選択画面から他のデータセンターへ、新しい仕組みを開発中です。Dude, there's nothing worse than like learning that a friend played Final Fantasy XIV and realizing they're on a different data center or something like that. So, it's good shit. Imagine that one, so I'm happy about that. Checkmate friends and people on your own server. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Because you have to log out and change data centers and log in, they're saying. Data center and world economies. I think this is just、um, for like visiting housing worry, and shit.、Uh, back when we, right before we started the world、uh, visit system as well. But it turns out that the change,、uh, the effect was、uh, negligible. And、uh, of course, we're going to be doing some simulations to make sure that that's the case here. But we don't feel that it will affect adversely、uh, the economy. The tech isn't there yet, guys. <laughs> Oh, you ain't tired, Yoshi P. Alright, so I think that is pretty much all that we have today. Pretty much. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Give us something. Wait, that's the president. What are you teasing at? Something important to tell our players? You came out last time as a blue mage. The fuck you gonna do this time? It's the CEO. Okay, alright, alright. I could not care less. I mean, it was to be expected. Open beta begins Tuesday, April 13th. If I can get a hold of the PS5 before then. I mean, we're seeing more and more shipping come out for PS5 and Xbox One, so I mean, it's, it's gonna happen. The amount of fucks I get is、uh, in the negative. <laughs> Trying to drop a goddamn fucking tease of a date. So it's all on the same day. 
Roll a 13. I mean, we've been we've been working on it, yes. Guess I'm taking my birthday off. I actually brought some footage from this PlayStation 5 version. Yo, high res version? Come on. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> Lightning fast load time, so obviously because of using the power of the SSD. Yeah, okay. So essentially for players So essentially for players who like who have like uh more of the higher end graphics cards who are seeing this now, essentially they're gonna see like towards like the PS5 now, so okay, I, I understand that. I heard it's quite amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it, it is amazing, but. Okay, since we have a very large PowerPoint, let's go and talk about it. <coughs> so, first off, uh, the PlayStation 5 version will be featuring full 4K resolution support. It'll be the first game I play on PS5 since no other fucking games are out. Really? So the video um, that you just saw, that was actually... Um, Nothing's out on the PS5. Footage. Well, besides the ones that are like cross-platform wise, uh, there's no ten technically any exclusives right now. Again, one of the PlayStation 5's main selling points um, that is the actual speed at which players... Unless I'm so missing one, I th I'm thinking of one. Well, I mean, that was that's both old and, and plus new generation console exclusive. PlayStation 5 is an extremely powerful system, uh, and that will help us uh, significantly uh, improve the frame rate for the PlayStation 5 version. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2070. <laughs> 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 Again, cross-platform. Well, you can't actually play that on so, the uh, console. That's currently we're planning to have <laughs> two different modes for the PlayStation Yeah, you 5. can. I play it. Uh, the 4K version. Didn't it crash a lot? Those players that want to play... Final now I have a PS4 Pro, Pro with an SSD. I cheat. Because I can't handle the slow loading time. And if this doesn't have an SSD, I'll install an SSD on the PS5 too. And then a second mode that we have planned is our uh, full HD 2K mode uh, that focuses more on frame rate and optimizing that frame rate. And players will be able to go into config and change that in real time in the PlayStation 5 version. And as we did uh, when we first released our PlayStation 4 version, um, we plan on continuing to make uh, improvements to the PlayStation 5 version over a series of patches. I mean, it makes sense That's technically right. wise. Like the whole entire end, like what was it? Like with Shadowbringer saying the end of uh, 32 bit and all that stuff. So obviously, graphic wise, it's going to increase more and more. Okay. So um, I have something to ask of you since you're here today. Okay, so this is what I want to do, and I want you to take a look at this and see if it's okay. Service so counts being pre registered license for the PS4 version of the download and play PS5 recreation. How much does it cost? 
You know, that would make the logical sense. If they don't do that, that'd be stupid. So basically what I want to do is that anyone that has a registered license for the PlayStation 4 version, but I want them to play the beta version, and once the beta version ends and we begin our official service, as long as you're paying that monthly fee, to be able to upgrade immediately to the PlayStation 5 version. And, and I want uh, players to be able to, those playing the PS4 version, to be able to basically, you know, move over to that PlayStation 5 version without having to do anything. ぜひ、え、PS5版、え、試してプレイしてみてください。よろしくお願いします。Yes, so so you heard it here, we got permission from the CEO himself. Those who have the PS4 version and that registered license will be able to upgrade to the PS5 version without any charge. So those of you with that registered license and the PS4 version will not need to purchase the PlayStation 5 package. You won't need to buy the PlayStation 5 package, but you'll still need to try to find a PlayStation 5. <laughs> I'm glad he actually said that at least. And as we mentioned before, uh, we plan to continue updates to the PlayStation 5 version, improving graphics, improving performance uh, with future patches. So let's uh, get a few words from our CEO before this. え、今日はファイナルファンタジー well, as you saw today, including this PlayStation 5 version, a lot of new information was revealed today. Uh, please enjoy to the very end of this presentation. And Final Fantasy XIV has managed to continue for 10 long years thanks to you, all players around the world. そして、え、吉田が先ほど言いましたように、彼はこれからもファイナルファンタジー14をいきいていきます。そして、開発チーム一同ゲームをもっともっと盛り上げていきますので、ぜひこれからもファイナルファンタジー14をよろしくお願い
発表されてね、ねしまいましたけど、<笑>プレイステーション5版もぜひ楽しみにしてください。Yeah, we weren't expecting to announce that today, but we will be releasing the PlayStation 5 version very soon, so please look forward to it. まあ、オープンベータとかね、えー、詳しい詳細またトピックスでお知らせしていきます。基本的にはあの本体持ってればすぐに遊べるとあのイメージしておいてもらえれば大丈夫かと思います。Uh, more information about the open beta will be revealed、uh, in an upcoming topics,、um, but long story short, if you have that PlayStation 4 version and the PlayStation 5, you'll be able to play it almost immediately once the beta begins. すみませんちょっと時間をオーバーし気味ですが本日の新情報発表会はここまでとさせてくださいただまだまだ隠しネタが存在する行月のフィナーレ、えー、エンドウォーカーですが次の情報公開ファンフェスで行っていこうと思いますはい、and so、uh, we're already over our, our time limit here and、uh, while we still have a lot of information to talk about we're going to leave that、uh, for future events and the fan festival、uh, so we have one more thing to show you えー、こちら2021年5月15日16日、えー、2日間の行われるアラウンド・ザ・ワールドと題して全世界グローバルに向けたデジタルファンフェスティバルをやっていきます。So、ファンフェスティバルは2021年5月15日、2021年5月15日、2021年5月15日、2021年5月15日、2021年5月15日、2021年5月15日、2021年5 14尽くしの、えー、ファンフェスをやっていこうと思います。もちろん、えー、音楽のステージも2日間しっかり用意してやっていこうと思ってます。And just like all of our live、uh, Final Fantasy Fan Festivals, we plan to have two days full of content, including live concerts. で、あのまあもちろんデジタルなので、全世界に配信もしますし、まあ可能であればね、リアルで集まってもらえる方には来てもらうっていうのも考えたいですし、僕らも。そこだけじゃなくて、ちょっとね、ゲームの中でもみたいな感じで、丸2日間、モニターとかゲームを通して、14を楽しめるファンフェスをやっていこうと思ってます。And while、uh, we're planning to have this fan festival again online,、uh, so all players all around the world can attend,、uh, possibly even players that are here in Japan might be able to attend in person. We'll see、uh, if that is allowed.、Um, but we want to have a full two days filled with a Final Fantasy experience packed with content. I have it feel like、um, an in game type of event.、えー、そしてですね、ライブストリームで世界中にと言いました。ですので、もうすべて音楽コンテンツも含めて、今回はすべ、えー、て無料で、えー、視聴していただけるようにします。And so,、uh, because we, and it is going to be online, we want to tell everyone that this in its entirety, including the concert, will be free. まあもちろんだから、まあ、プライマルとのライブとかあるのかなまあ、そういった音楽、ステージとかも、えー、ストリーム、無料でお届けしていこうと思ってます。例えば、こちらのただちょっと注意点あの、音楽にはいろんなゲストの方とかいらっしゃるので、あのアーカイブからはあの映像が、ね、残らないようにするかもしれないので。ぜひですでもいいんだぞって書いてくださってる方が、ね、そういった方はですね、ぜひこのファンフェス記念アイテムを購入していただけると助かります。そう、そういった方はですね、ぜひこのファンフェス記念アイテムを購入していただけると助かります。Kojima! I want, I want the moon whale. Yep, purchasing. <laughs> Kojima! Our last fan festival,、uh, we had the clouds、uh, fight Fenrir.、Um, for this digital fan festival, we're planning to have this mount, the lunar whale. The moon whale. We're actually、uh, used、uh, some of the designs of the moon whale. We're actually used Yoshitaka Amano's original artwork as a base for this design. Ooh. Actually, this has already been completed, and so we have a video to show you. Take a look at it. Is it one person、oh, or multiple people? 
a video of the Give us the whale. <laughs> With the moon in the background. <laughs> oh, it's a four person mount. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, what? Oh, just going around, okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! Holy shit! Full party mount! Alright then! Everybody get on, bitches! Get on the whale! Oh, oh my god! Gain the whale! <laughs> it's an eight seater! Oh my god! That makes perfect sense in all honesty. It's a goddamn whale. And you're gonna, it's for the whales, for people to purchase. I, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll buy it, I don't care, I'll buy it. <laughs> oh shit! Edge, Rosa, and Rydia? What? The oldest I played is a big part of the Endwalker story focuses on the moon. We decided to Actually, I think I played Final Fantasy, Fantasy 1, but there wasn't also much to place, it. Uh, somewhat on the moon and take characters from there and create minions from them. We have Edge, Rosa, and Rydia. Can I get a t-shirt? Yeah, can we get t-shirts? Available for purchase on the same day, uh, that first day of the Final Fantasy Fan Festival on May 15th. Please look for it. Can we, can we, can we get the, the Estinian, you know, Dragoon t-shirt? Uh, regarding the Fan Festival, we have a little bit more information to give you. I'll use the Primal t-shirt when I have the Heaven's Ward. After this showcase. T-shirt. I really want one of those I beat whatever that they give out when you can be finished in person. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much. With Endwalker, we're finally approaching the climax of the story of Hydlin and Zodiac. So, please look forward to it. Oh. Well, of course, they gotta got, get Amino back. To I page. like that. Uh, I want to say late 40s now? Uh, he might be 50 now. Yeah. I wish I'm that cool. He's 68? Shit. Damn. He can't be 68. Yo, Asians don't age, man. To ask him to create this for us. Um, Dude, he was already in his 40s and 90s. Wow. Um, whether you looked at it from the top or the bottom, it would be uh, you have a different sort of image that there is no good, there is no bad, there is no dark, there is no light. And, He's uh, 47. But what? Yeah. No, the artist, Yoshitaka Amano, not. Oh, God damn it, you got a fucking oh. book. Okay. The artist, okay, yeah, no, that makes more sense. All right, thank you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to say, like, I thought he was like in his 40s. Good God. About the story, you can look at it now and speculate. All Japanese names sound the same. That's racist. 
Yeah, they had three pieces. So, uh, <laughs> really enjoyed the art. I hope you no, I'm talking about the original. Um, yeah, I'm talking about the original. 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 The all right, I'm not watching the uh, live letter. I'll get the, I'll get the cliff notes from the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Why is it usually boring? Uh, it's usually very slow and very long. Uh, recapping what we just saw as far as going to a little further explanation. Right, and it's like it's like we just saw the condensed version. Okay. And and imagine that's four times as long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 